Yeah, I'm all in. Brody on the line, I'm tapping in. Got out here pulling the strings for me. What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch another video of mine. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to blur multiple people's faces in Final Cut Pro without any plugins or presets or special software to do this. It's really, really easy to do and uh, doesn't really require much knowledge of the actual program. Assuming you're on the latest version of Final Cut Pro, I'm already on 10.4.8. As you can see, if you're running an older version of this, just update to the latest one, just so you have all the features, all the latest features. So um, we're gonna be adding an effect called the sensor right here in the stylize option. So what you wanna do first is go into the effects, go to stylize and go to sensor and drag that directly on top of your clip. Once you do that, you're gonna have a little circle with like this pixelated. What you wanna do is just move it to wherever you want it to blur. So what I wanna do is I wanna drag it over his face and then go to the edge and change this to adjust the size. So I'm gonna go right over here. We're gonna add a, we're gonna add a keyframe next to center and radius. Um, also, if you change the amount, you can change the strength of the blur. I'm gonna go full blur here. You can change the method if you wanna do a pixelated or you wanna do a simple blur or like a smooth blur or a darken uh, or a rectangle, you can do that as well. I'm gonna go to pixelate just cause I think it's less noticeable and the radius is the same size and the center is pre pretty much the position on the screen. The aspect ratio is if you want it a, a little bit more oval or a bit more re uh, rectangular, you can do that. And you can also invert this. So if you wanted to, once you create all of your keyframes and stuff, and then you click on invert, this will do everything. It will blur everything except the um, area where you've selected this. And then the amount boost is where you can uh, boost the actual blur, which is kind of neat. Once you've added all the keyframes here, on the first uh, time head right there, all you gotta do is press right on the arrow key. I'm gonna go shift right, just because there's not a lot of movement going on with the pupil's faces. But if, they're, if the person is moving a lot, then you're gonna be going frame by frame and just moving it to track their face. In this shot, we are actually zooming out. Anyways, we're zooming out, so that means that the size is staying the same and it's gonna blur a lot. So what I wanna do is I want to scale the actual blur to the face, the proportion of the face. So if I were to hold shift and keep moving it, you can see it starts to move his face. I'm gonna move it a little bit there and you can see if we don't move it, it's gonna blur everybody's face. So I'm gonna go back to right over here and I'm gonna move it down and I'm gonna start to make this smaller so it kind of uh, changes the size with the face uh, or with the camera movement. So I'm gonna start to make this smaller, shift and right, just because there's not a lot of movement going on. But if there's a lot of movement, go frame by frame by pressing the right arrow key. It's kind of neat how there's not a lot of movement going on in this shot. So now if I were to go back and push play, you're gonna see that it's tracking his face and it's also staying in proportion to the actual face, which is kind of neat, which is what you actually wanna do. Now you can see when we zoom out and we click off of this, it's just a big blob and we don't really want that. So what we're gonna do is right over here, I'm gonna add where it says amount, I'm gonna add a keyframe there and go to the end and actually move this so it's actually smaller. So now if I were to go back, the blob, you know how you can see one square is actually gonna be a lot smaller. It makes it a lot smaller. Or you can just have it go small, but you know, you can just have it go like this if you really wanted to, and then increase the amount boost there. Now we're gonna do the same thing again. So we're gonna go into the effects, go to stylize and go to sensor and drag another one directly on top of that clip. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna blur him. I think that's Kanye's dad. I'm not too sure, but we're gonna blur his face. I'm gonna add a keyframe in the radius and the center, and I'm gonna press Shift Enter track his face, as well as to make this smaller as the camera pans out to, you know, scale proportionally to the face, so we're not blur uh, blurring any other people's faces out in this shot. So now if we're to go back and push play, you can see that we're also blurring out his face. We can also bring this down the amount and then increase the boost and uh, it'll look like this kind of neat in terms of the actual effect where you don't actually have to mask anything else and you can do this again so you can go into the stylized drag another one there on kim make this smaller just for the sake of the video okay and add a uh, keyframe next to center and radius press shift and enter and her face doesn't seem to move that much it's kind of easy on the keyframes Perfect, so now we're gonna change the amount 
and just increase whoops increase the boost so if I push play you're gonna see what it looks like and there you go you just blurred a lot of people's faces and it's really easy in terms of this shot if it was you know going crazy you just add more keyframes I guess and to see your actual keyframes right click and go to show video animation and you can see all of the keyframes for each one so the first one if you were to uncheck this you can see which one it is and you can actually adjust this so let's say for Kim's face actually there was a point where it, the keyframe moved like right here be in the center piece here so we can click and drag this and move it actually which is kind of cool so now if you go back and push play you can see we can make those adjustments here as well but yeah so if you guys found this video helpful in any way please leave a like guys subscribe turn on the bell notification so you guys don't miss out on a video like this one and i'll catch you guys next time peace